five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. America has launched. One alpha. So rises Copy. a new era right of American space flight, and with it the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. Right now everything continuing to look good. Dragon copies. Well, everyone, welcome aboard Dragon. Uh, my name is Doug. Next to me is uh, Bob. You probably know him. We're so glad to be with you uh, this evening and uh, welcome you on board uh, Dragon. Got a couple uh, things we want to talk about first before we kind of show you around. The first is uh, kind of a tradition we've had uh, over the years with spacecraft going way back to the uh, Mercury era. Uh, and then a tradition that's been carried on ever since with uh, all our space vehicles, including the Soyuz. Uh, we uh, were, were given the honor to name uh, this capsule. I know most of you uh, at SpaceX especially know it as Capsule 206, but uh, I think uh, all of us thought that we could maybe do a little bit better than that. So uh, without further ado, we would like to uh, welcome you aboard Capsule Endeavor. Uh, we chose Endeavour for a few reasons. One, because of this incredible Endeavour, uh, NASA, SpaceX, and the United States has been on uh, since the end of the shuttle program back in 2011. The other reason we named it uh, Endeavour is a little more personal to Bob and I. Uh, we both had our first flights on shuttle Endeavour and uh, it just meant so much to us to carry on that name. Uh, that's what we decided to go with. So we hope you enjoy that name and once again, welcome on board. Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome aboard Endeavour, the uh, SpaceX vehicle headed to the International Space Station. Uh, today, we accomplished the first flight off the Florida coast in uh, quite some time, and Doug and I were really proud to have an opportunity to be a part of that. Uh, we're doing it in a brand new uh, spaceship, a spaceship that's a lot different than its namesake uh, Endeavour, the space shuttle, in that it has uh, touch display screens that allow us to accomplish most of the interfacing requirements that we have. We'll have uh, if Doug pans over and points at the display in front of me, you can see the, the forward view that we had uh, uh, during the maneuvers that we most recently did. You can look out the window. It looks like the centerline camera doesn't have a lot of content on it now. We're kind of pointed into space so that the windows can see the Earth below us. But we've got the capability to interface with the vehicle, and it's kind of interesting. There's a command. This little button over here is actually what the commands are for our displays. One thing that does get lost is there is a uh, extensive uh, button panel down below as well. So over on uh, this side, we can, can turn the displays on and off, as well as send some commands for some contingency situations. Uh, on the other side, we have the ability to uh, deploy shoots and things like that on entry. So uh, we do have some buttons, but the primary interface is uh, these displays. So nice, new, modern cockpit that we've got for our, our uh, compared to our namesake, the Space Shuttle uh, Endeavor. I'm going to migrate a little bit away from our seats here, and Doug from his seat is going to continue to try to follow me so you can tell what can be seen from the, the seat that he sits in. So from his seat, when he is inside the, 
in the vehicle strapped in, this is what his view actually looks like. You can see a, a window off to the one side. We each have a window that we can view out and, and see what's going on outside. That was exciting on Ascent for us to be able to see the, the arm rotate away from the pad, and that's when we both, I think, knew that we were uh, going to launch today. So that was, that was super cool. I've got one on my side uh, as well. Uh, the hatch that we came in is the hatch that's uh, right behind me. It is a little bit of a tight quarters, uh, but I'm going to uh, try to uh, demonstrate some of the capability that we have now that we're in zero gravity. So I think I was requested to do a backflip. I'm going to kind of do a side spin, which is a little bit of a permutation on that request. So hopefully you can see what it's like to actually float in zero gravity. And uh, Doug and I are super excited that we got the opportunity to do this again today, uh, even before the end of May. So that was super cool. We did. It, in, it turns out end up with one stowaway on board our uh, vehicle when we launched today. It was not uh, uh, just Doug and I who uh, accomplished the launch here. We do have a, an Apatosaurus aboard. We both have two boys uh, who are super interested in dining. And uh, we collected up all the dinosaurs between the two houses, and Trimmer, the Apatosaurus, uh, got the vote from the boys to make the trip into space today with us. And so that uh, was a super cool thing for us to get a chance to do for both of our sons, who I, I hope are super excited to see uh, their toy floating around with us on board. I'm sure they would rather be here uh, given the opportunity, but hopefully they're proud of this as well. Okay, uh, as we work our way towards one of the windows, uh, unfortunately it's getting a little bit dark, but uh, I don't know if Bob can pan over here. We're now, we just passed off of the coast of Newfoundland and we're headed over to, uh, or over the Atlantic right now. I don't know if you can uh, get a good picture of that. Anyway, um, hopefully you enjoy that view um, as we pass over the Atlantic. And uh, I think with that, we will work ourselves back into the seats and uh, wrap things up for this evening. So Doug's there uh, making a nice big smile for the camera. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the trip today with us on board the uh, Dragon Capsule Endeavor with our friend Trimmer, the Apatosaurus, uh, and Doug and I. We just would like to uh, thank SpaceX, we'd like to thank NASA, and we'd like to thank the, uh, the American people for the opportunity today. And we're really proud of the entire team that was able to accomplish human space flight again from the Florida coast. Uh, just a wonderful experience. Uh, Doug and I are just so proud to be a part of it and just uh, want to thank uh, everybody who gave us uh, this opportunity and worked so hard uh, to make this happen today. So with that, uh, I think it'll be good night from Capsule Endeavor. Good night to everyone at NASA, at SpaceX, and the United States, and congratulations to the teams that got us into orbit. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing uh, Chris Cassidy and uh, his Russian colleagues on board the International Space Station uh, tomorrow morning. We are just 60 meters away, continuing to close in. We should see the final approach resume. Copy inbound. So we're closing in at less than a tenth of a meter per second at this point. You can see the, the surface section Draco is just doing all these very small, minor attitude corrections.
but you can actually see the uh, centerline camera pretty clearly there, um, sort of with the contrast of the, the sun right now. Three meters to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon in <laughs> Soft capture confirmed. Stand by for retraction and docking. We have Bob Bankin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Followed by Doug Hurley. This is the dawn of a new era, and we just thank you for being at the beginning of it. Thank you so much. Uh, it was absolutely our pleasure, uh, but it's just a huge team effort across the board from SpaceX to NASA that uh, made this all happen. We were just the lucky guys that got to fly the rocket uh, yesterday.